By 2025, almost every developed country in the world will have a high-speed railway, which aims to provide customers with rail travel that is one and a half to two times faster than conventional trains and accelerate long-distance travel. While the United States has only one high-speed train among developed countries and looks set to lean more towards private public transport in the future, China has doubled the length of its high-speed railway in the past decade and is currently working on developing trains that are faster than airplanes. In this video, we take a look at the six most innovative commercial train concepts of the future that are currently under development. Number 6. Belly Kreshet. Russia currently has one high-speed railway, between Moscow and St. Petersburg. This section is 645 kilometers long, and current trains cover this distance in three and a half to four hours. This railway line is currently operated by Siemens Valero type trains, or Sapsan in Russian, with a travel speed of close to 250 km per hour. This line is still in operation, but around 2020 an idea arose to rebuild the whole thing, which was modified in 2021 to modernize the current one. The new line will be ready by 2028 and will be 679 km long with 16 stations, roughly along the current route. In the future, they may extend the line to Kazan, but for now we are only talking about the Moscow St. Petersburg section. In 2024, President Putin gave permission for construction, and construction finally began in 2025. Although we are three years away from the planned opening of the project, the new line plans to use new trains. This is the Belly Kreshet. The Belly Kreshet will be able to travel on the railway at up to 360 km per hour, reducing the distance from the current four hours to just two and a half hours. The train is designed to operate in the harshest conditions and to reach a maximum speed of up to 400 km per hour. Each train will consist of eight cars, with different classes, but there is also the possibility of doubling the length of the train to up to 16 cars. The Belly Kreshet will be distinguished by its quiet running and economical energy consumption thanks to its aerodynamic shape. In 2024, a model of the planned trains was exhibited in Moscow, where, among other things, interested parties were able to enter the train model and see what it would look like. The trains were developed by a company called Euro Locomotives and will soon be put into production as construction of the Moscow to St. Petersburg section progresses. Number 5. Brightline West as mentioned at the beginning of the video, the USA currently has only one high-speed rail line, between Boston and the capital Washington DC. This is the Acela Express, which has 12 stations and travels the distance between the two cities at 240 km per hour. All this in the framework of 20 services per day and in 7 hours. Previously, this was the only well-known commercial railway in the United States, but in 2018, a 378-kilometer long railway with six stations began operating in Florida. The difference compared to previous railway services was that this was provided by a completely private company, and the track and part of the stations were financed by a real estate development company. The trains cover the distance in about 3.5 hours and the trains were also manufactured by Siemens. A diesel-powered Siemens charger is used as the locomotive, while the Siemens Venture is used for the carriages, which have two classes according to comfort level. However, the same company announced that it wants to build a railway called Brightline West between California and Nevada by 2028. The planned line will be 351 kilometers long and will provide similar service to the previously mentioned Brightline in Florida, except that the trains here will be electric, not diesel-powered. In 2024, it was announced that a different type of train will be used here compared to the previous line, namely the American Pioneer 220 manufactured by Siemens, which is capable of carrying up to 435 passengers. The Pioneer 220 is based on Siemens Valero high-speed technology and is capable of reaching speeds of 360 km per hour. This will shorten the journey, which currently takes 1 hour 5 minutes by plane and 3 hours 37 minutes by car, to just 2 hours. Number 4. Fuxinghao CR450 China has always been at the forefront of high-speed rail construction. With a railway network of more than 50,000 kilometers, it operates the world's longest high-speed service. And not only the longest, but also the fastest trains operate here. If we look at trains running on conventional wheels, 
The Fuxinghao CRH400AF is the world's fastest, with a travel speed of 350 km per hour, but it could also run at 400 km per hour. This type is not only running on China's high-speed lines, but also on the Chinese-financed and built Indonesian high-speed railway, which was handed over in 2024. At the end of 2024, China shocked the world when it unveiled the Fuxinghao CR450 model train, which is scheduled to enter testing on the Wuhan, Yichang section of the Wuhan, Chongqing, Chengdu high-speed line in 2025 and is targeting commercial operation in 2026. It is planned to have an operating speed of 400 km per hour, which is 50 km per hour faster than the current record holder CRH 400 AF. However, the maximum speed is 450 km per hour, which is actually the world's fastest high-speed train on conventional wheels. The CR450 is 10% lighter, uses 20% less energy and is 2 decibels quieter than its predecessor. In the future, it is also conceivable that, like the CRH400AF, this type will also be exported abroad for China's international high-speed rail investments. Number 3. SC Maglev Japan was the first country to build high-speed railways, with the first section of the country's high-speed rail network, the Shinkansen, opening in 1964 between Tokyo and Osaka, and it has remained the busiest since then, carrying approximately 432,000 passengers per day. Since then, Japan has exported its high-speed rail technology worldwide, but it has not stopped developing it. The latest technology lies in magnetic levitation. In 2011, Japan built the so-called L0 series maglev, a magnetic levitation train based on a different technology than the one previously seen in China. In 2015, it was able to reach a speed of 603 km per hour during a test run, despite the fact that the train was designed for a constant operating speed of 500 km per hour, while a maximum speed of 550 km per hour. Today, the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya by train takes 1 hour and 26 minutes. The same distance would take just 40 minutes with this new generation train, but it would then be extended to Osaka, the country's third largest city, reducing the current Tokyo-Osaka distance from 2 hours and 16 minutes to just 67 minutes. If we look at the same distance by plane, it would take 1 hour, so in practice the distance could be covered by train faster than by air. The first phase is planned to open in 2034, while the second in 2037. The total investment is estimated to cost $82 billion and will reform the general image of trains. Number 2. High-Speed Flying Train Not only does China have the world's largest high-speed rail network, but it was here that the so-called maglev train first began operating, in Shanghai. This train connects Shanghai's airport to the city center and is capable of a maximum speed of 431 km per hour, but usually only operates at 224 km per hour, so it covers the distance in 8 minutes. Although this prototype was developed by a German company, the Chinese government introduced the CRRC maglev in 2021 in order to improve the country's transport infrastructure, which would be able to reach speeds of 600 km per hour. In 2024, it was announced that China had completed the first tests of a so-called high-speed flying train, which would be a special maglev train that would run in a vacuum tube, similar to the concept called Hyperloop. This train would thus be able to reach speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour. This experiment was carried out in a 2-kilometer-long low-pressure vacuum tube system, but if it were to be implemented in reality, for example on the busy Beijing-Shanghai route, the current 4.5-hour journey by high-speed rail could be shortened to 90 minutes. Although the topic of Hyperloop is controversial, since the concept was first proposed by Elon Musk, the world's richest man, in 2013, the company specializing in this, Hyperloop One, filed for bankruptcy at the end of 2023, but another company specializing in this, the British Virgin Hyperloop, carried out the first successful test with the transport of two people in 2020. It is likely that China will eventually emerge as the winner of the Hyperloop experiment, where the population is huge and there are solid foundations for rail transport. Number 1. K Hypertube. The Korean Train Express, better known as KTX, is South Korea's high-speed rail network, operated by Koreal 
and includes a 922-kilometer long system where operating speeds can reach up to 305 kilometers per hour. The network is one of the most advanced high-speed networks in Asia, but South Korea is also open to innovation and launched its own Hyperloop program in April 2025. K-HyperTube, in essence, involves the development of trains designed for speeds of 1,200 km per hour, and the Ministry of Infrastructure has already allocated 12.7 billion Korean won to develop the innovation over the next three years. This planned project would also include the technology that other hyperloops would use, as it would be a maglev train traveling in a vacuum tube that can reach ultra-high speeds by exploiting the electromagnetic force between the train and the rails. If we look at South Korea's busiest route, Seoul Busan, which currently takes 1 hour and 52 minutes by high-speed rail or 1 hour by plane, the new hyperloop could reduce the journey to under 20 minutes. South Korea expects to play a leading role in the development of high-speed rail and new train technologies both globally and internationally.